So hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my behind the scenes vlogs. So this is the fourth one that I'm doing. So today is the 19th of March and I'm just waiting for my sister to arrive um, because she's helping me go to the post office today. I have almost 70 orders to send off which is crazy. These are orders from the past week because I went to the post office last week Friday with my sister um, in the morning and today is Friday so it's been a week so I've had 70 orders in a week which is crazy. Um, so thank you so much to everyone who's purchased something from my shop, it means the world. So yesterday I spent the whole day packing all of those orders, um, it took me about 12 hours and for most of the week I've just been doing a bit of a restock so I was making a bunch of um, chews and I also done some baking. It does actually take a long time to make and package stuff so I usually have to dedicate a couple of days a week to doing that um, and then I spend like one or two days packing orders and then I ship them um, once or twice a week but yeah I've been super 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 busy this week I'm so happy today's Friday um, on Fridays when I go post office I kind of like to do a half day so I've been up since six-ish um, I packaged some treats um, and then I packed orders and um, marked them as shipped and all of that kind of stuff and booked in my tracked um, parcels for collection because the tracked ones need to be collected I've got five and um, so I like to do everything in the morning so then once I get back I don't really have anything that I need to do I have a couple of updates um, regarding some stuff as well so I ordered some enamel pins last um, last week I think it was last week or the week before anyways I mentioned it in my last vlog um, and I went ahead and I ordered some acrylic pins so the reason why I decided to get acrylic pins as well as enamel pins is that the enamel ones are a lot like it's quite expensive to make them just a few hundred to produce them so I do have to sell them at like a decent price so I can actually get my money back and also make a little bit of profit um, and I know some people especially my younger audience they don't really want to spend any more than five pounds on a pin so I will have the enamel pins priced slightly higher than the acrylic pins um, acrylic pins are a lot cheaper to manufacture and stuff so uh, yeah I'm really excited for those to arrive um, and I also went ahead and I ordered some die cut stickers so this is my milkshake um design that i'm talking about i'm gonna be adding that to my website and my etsy store as well so i'm really excited for those to arrive this drawer is still looking a little bit um empty because the dishes haven't arrived yet but i've got some more um coming so these i just showed in my last vlog um these will be limited edition for spring super cute carrot dishes um and then here we've got i think this is all dandelion roots so i restocked the dandelion roots um and I've actually started using the grey packaging now. So I did have this pink um, packaging before. But then um, I got this grey one because it's a bit more on brand. But this one, I don't know, it just looks really dark. But I do have a lighter grey one, which I think is the one I'm going to switch to once I finish um, using up this one. This is the spoon that I'm currently using for Bluebell's food at the moment. Um, just got some cage thermometers there. So that looks like this. This will be great for um, summer because uh, it's going to get really, really hot so it's just nice to know um the temperature and this drawer i did a nice restock so it's not empty anymore so i baked some more of these treats og nibbles um coconut og nibbles um beetroot beetroot cookies and then vanilla um cookies got whimsies at the back got the trio of chews here um got freestyle chicken and then here we've got um the flour donuts so i did actually package these up this morning so we got all of these and then we've just got one left over in the old packaging from here we've got um we've got chew toys and garland so i do need to do another restock of this i didn't really make that many um i just made enough to cover the orders that i had so i do need to make some more of these um garlands and also some more of these hanging shoes which are super cute and here in this drawer which i haven't showed you guys for a little while so this is just where i keep my supplies and stuff you will have seen this in my tour on my um etsy business um video um although i've had my shop for years um i have changed things i did a bit of a rebrand so i didn't really know how i wanted everything set out so i think this drawer is honestly going to change it's more of that stripy packaging that i was talking about so this is what i've got left of the dark gray one and then here's the uh light gray one which looks a lot better it's kind of shimmery as well um we've got some beads here we've got some yellow beads here um and then we just got some other materials which i use uh, when I'm making my um, stuff 
Um, we've got some tissue paper here, my label for my treats, and um, more packaging and stuff. So this drawer needs to be sorted out and um, yeah, just reorganized. So do you guys remember in my last vlog, um, I made um, my thank you little card inside my orders and I accidentally ordered the wrong size and they came huge well um, a couple of days later um, I got the correct sized ones I reordered them and yeah so I have a thousand of the wrong size and then I have 500 of the correct size um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys them so here's what the cards look like so this was the one that I ordered originally this is what it was supposed to look like this just looks so nice in orders um I just really like the idea of putting thank you um cards in there and my logo looks really good on there just going to be using both of them until I use up the thousand of the big ones and I thought I would go ahead and quickly show you guys my new pen so it's like a rose gold with uh light pink polka dots uh really cute I love cute stationery and stuff and yeah so I can't really think of anything else um that I need to update you guys on this is just a really quick little um update as I'm waiting for my sister to pick me up Probably just gonna come home and play Animal Crossing on my Switch because I've got back into playing it again. I've been really, really busy for the last, um, oh, that's my sister. I've been really busy for like the last two months. So I've hardly had a chance to play Animal Crossing and yeah, I haven't played it properly since last year. And there's so much new stuff going on and I feel like I'm missing out. So I've just started playing it again now that I have a bit more free time and I'm just so excited about all of the new updates and the Sanrio stuff, which has finally come to Animal Crossing New Horizons because I had it in New Leaf. And yeah, so I'm gonna stop rambling now. And um, here's today's outfit, if you're wondering. it's currently Tuesday um, and it's a little after two o'clock and I've had such a busy morning today I've just been making a bunch of um, chew toys I didn't make that 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 many not as much as I would have liked to um, but I did a little restock of my chew toys and I also packaged up some coconut um, nibbles so you guys would have seen that in like the previous clip I imported the clips from this vlog uh, that I filmed on Friday um, I popped that onto my iPad I don't think I mentioned this in my last vlog i think i did but i think i cut it out but i got myself a second camera battery because this camera i can only film for like 45 minutes and then it dies and then fingers crossed in may me and my boyfriend are going to the harry potter studio tour um so that's another reason why i got a second battery so that i could film that all for you guys because we're going for the fourth time um but i don't really know what's going to be going on with the rules with lockdown and stuff um we might get to go we might not get to go but fingers crossed we do because that would be amazing. Today I've just been um, restocking basically and I made two new items and I'm so excited about them. I'm going to go ahead and show them to you guys. So I don't know why but at the moment I'm just obsessed with spring. I've just been so excited for spring and I don't really know why. I would have said before my favourite season is autumn but I think my favourite season is probably spring as well. I've just been loving spring colours at the moment and I even went ahead and spent over £100 on ASOS and got myself like five dresses so I'm wearing one of them now. I was going to return this one and another one but I decided to keep it but yeah I went ahead and I ordered myself some dresses. I never wear dresses but I just really wanted to have some nice dresses for spring. Um, this one I'm not like 100% happy of how it fits and I was going to return it but it was too much hassle um, and it feels really nice and comfortable so I'll probably just wear it indoors I probably won't wear it outdoors because it doesn't fit very nice so I think this whole obsession with spring colours came about because I really like bees and then I came up with an idea of giving Bluebell a yellow 
themed cage and having like bee hammocks and stuff. So in I think my last vlog you would have seen that I got bee lights and um, I got her a yellow food dish, a yellow hide and stuff. Um, and at some point I'm going to give her a bee themed cage of like yellow stuff. And I was just liking the idea of yellow and then I started playing Animal Crossing again and then I've been dressing my character in yellow clothes. And then I decided to redecorate my um, bedroom in Animal Crossing and make it all yellow. Um, and then I saw the new um, Easter items that are coming and they just look so cute and I'm just so excited for Easter in Animal Crossing. I don't really do anything for Easter but this year I'm just so excited for Easter. So today when I was making shoes I just went ahead and I made a um, and I made two new products so they are going to be limited edition for spring and the colours are so freaking cute they're adorable um, I've got them up in Bluebell's cage at the moment um, I'm gonna restock I'm gonna stock them on my Etsy tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to be packing orders and I don't have many of them but I will be restocking them in the upcoming weeks and they will be on my Etsy store um, throughout spring. I probably won't put them on my website, they'll probably just be on my Etsy because it's just so much easier to do everything on Etsy. Um, and I posted some pictures over on my um, Instagram and I've had messages from you guys asking, will these be available in your shop? Um, I did just make them for Bluebell and I shared a picture and then I thought, oh, people are definitely gonna want this for their um, um, pets as well. So I went ahead and I made a few extras with the supplies that I had. I actually spent like three hours yesterday um, sorting out all of these flax sprays um, and I've also got a basket I'll show you guys in a minute and I've um, got the flax sprays that I've packaged up these are pretty much unpackaged they go into the flower and forage boxes but if you order flax sprays with other items it will come packaged in a little cello bag and my flower and forage boxes have been so 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 popular so almost every single order has um, flax sprays or it's a flower and forage box um, so my so my container with my flower forage in there at the moment is pretty much empty. Normally the flower and forage box is quite a, um, it's a product that people were purchasing often. All of a sudden there's just been a spike and that is what everyone is ordering from my store. Um, and sometimes it's literally just a flower and forage box. So it's absolutely crazy. I think I have over 40 orders um, so far. So I'm going to tackle the non flower and forage box orders tomorrow and then I'll do the flower and forage ones um, on Thursday and then on Friday morning I'll package last minute orders and then my sister's gonna help me go to the post office. It's the garlands and I absolutely love how they turn out. They're so gorgeous and these just remind me of um, mini eggs because of the colours and um, mini eggs are my favourite thing about Easter, they're delicious and I've got a pack to enjoy. But the wicker balls are a different colour, I think I got them from a different supplier and when they arrived I was like that is not the right colour but to be honest with you, um, I think I kind of prefer this colour or maybe with this particular design and like the colour scheme it looks nice so this is what the colour usually looks like and as you can see right next to it they're they're not the same colour. And then I went ahead and I made a whole new item. Um, so I only have four of these, unfortunately. But how cute is this? Is this not adorable? I've been wanting to make something like this for a little while because obviously I have my... Um, these ones which are quite small they're quite cute but I wanted to make something like a bit bigger like rabbit and guinea pig friendly if that makes sense I'm just gonna have this as a permanent product on my website not this color combination but I'll do like a pink one a white one a blue one you know my usual colors but I'm so happy with this um, and then these are for bluebell I'll just put them in this drawer so I could remember but I just made these um but I just made these colours for her. This is what they look like in her cage. So, so, so cute. So it's a little bit short notice, but I think I want to do a sort of Easter slash spring theme in Bluebell's cage. There's so many themes that I want to do. Um, and I went ahead and I ordered some really cute Easter egg lights yesterday off Amazon and they arrived today. I think that's what's in the Amazon box that I got not long ago. But I'm going to go ahead and unbox that with you guys as well, as well as a few other things that I have um, and yeah I'm just really excited to see them and I'm just trying to do too much at once right now I don't really know what theme I want to give her I want to give her 
so many different themes so this drawer is nice and stocked up um i baked some coconut nibbles yesterday so i just packaged them this morning and then in this drawer um over here um is all dandelion roots and and, and underneath you can see the gray packaging um i really don't like the gray packaging now that i've like had it for a little while i do prefer the look of the lighter gray packaging and here in these cello bags i've just packaged um the luther chews so they just look like this i think they look really nice like this to package them in these paper bags um but because i packaged quite a few different things in paper bags it was getting a little bit confusing so i wasn't sure which way i wanted to put the sticker so i have one this way and then i have one like this way but i don't really know if i prefer like having it like this or having it like this i think i prefer having it like this and i've been getting notifications on instagram about the um uh new chews and yeah they're super 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 adorable probably one of the best things um i've made for my shop so i'm just about to share this um over on my instagram stories if you're not following me on instagram my instagram is called um tiny paws and company and i also have a personal instagram which is my name but i'm posting this but i'm sharing this on my pet instagram so in here are my flax sprays so this all came up to 116 pounds and flax is usually quite expensive um <laughs> but i really really love this supplier um, the flax is always very 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 good quality come in uh, these bundles so here's what they look like and um, they're quite long <laughs> that's how i get my flax i've actually got how many bundles have i got um so i've got nine bundles in here um and yeah so this is all my flax sprays and then in this box i'm not gonna open it um but here is my flower forage so i order all the flowers that i want and then i make the mix um myself and i think this came to it was over 200 i know that much um but yeah so dried flowers are quite expensive and this is the most i've ever ordered from them i usually order quite a lot to fill uh, my container but i've had to order a lot more because of how many people have been ordering this so now i'm gonna go ahead and open up some parcels with you guys so i'm gonna open up my amazon parcel fingers crossed it's the lights for um bluebell's cage i've also got a bag to unbox from a company called gustin luger um this isn't sponsored or anything um this is actually for collaboration over on instagram um i've worked with them two times in the past um and they make these really nice backpacks absolutely love them and you guys know i love my bag so this is one of my favorite companies to collaborate with i just really wanted to do a unboxing with you guys and if i have a discount code um i'll leave it linked down below in the description as well as a link to their website as i said this video is not like sponsored or anything i just want to show you guys the bag um and i've also got some um heart dishes as well i've got a restock of those so i need to unbox them and pop them into the drawer and yep yeah, so let's go ahead and do that <laughs> Yes, it is my fairy lights and they've come packaged so cute oh these look adorable so these were quite expensive i feel like i paid probably like 20 pounds for these um but look how they've come packaged oh they're so cute they're actually a lot lighter than i was expecting well this is a bit annoying i went to put lights in them a lights in them um batteries in them but they've like screwed it so i need to unscrew it and i have to go and find a screwdriver for this and i'm not going to be doing this right now but how annoying is that but yeah i might go ahead and put them on bluebell's cage though i'm kind of tempted to do that just to see how they look So this is my bag i absolutely love the backpack so this is what it looks like when you open the box oh it comes in a pouch now that's really really nice this is really nice none of my other bags came in a pouch like this oh my god this bag is so dinky oh my god it's a lot smaller than i expected but it's so cute <laughs> this is adorable so i actually have this bag in the bigger version so here's the bigger bag 
next to it. As you can see, this is so tiny compared to this. This is a vegan leather material. Um, and then here's the handles at the back. I think the top, oh, okay. Oh, and I completely forgot about this, but on the smaller bags, because there's different colours, um, you can actually unzip the flap and change it to a different colour. So they have like a pink one and a brown one. So that's really nice. So you don't have to have three of the same bag so you can just buy the flaps which is really cool um and then on the inside it's pretty much the same as the bigger bag but this is absolutely adorable i love my backpacks and um, i really love um small backpacks as well um perfect for days out when we can actually go outside again <laughs> um because we're still in lockdown in the uk oh and it does have a little handle as well just like the big bag does so um this is what the back of this one looks like this one's got a little pocket which is quite nice. So I think I've just got my um, heart dishes to unbox now, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and um, pop them away because it's getting quite late now and I usually work till around five. Sometimes I'll finish earlier if I've done all my stuff on my to-do list because I have um, to-do list for each day um, and I've pretty much done everything on my to-do list for today. I just wanted to do some filming for you guys to um, add to this vlog. And I'm gonna try and get some pictures for my, um, oops, that's very zoomed in. But yeah, I'm gonna try and get some pictures for my personal Instagram. <laughs> Alright, so I've just finished um, taking some pictures for Instagram of the bag. Um, the bag is so adorable, I can't wait to use it honestly. I'm feeling really hungry at the moment. I'm gonna go make something to eat in a minute. And I've also got this new bottle to um, unwrap. So it's just this really cute um, bottle. And I started using this protein shake and I went ahead and I just ordered a um, bottle for it. Um, and yeah, oh, this one has the measurements as well. That is perfect. Um, because with the shake that I use, I need 200 mils. So that's perfect. And, um, in my protein shakes, I have been using, um, dairy-free milk. So I brought about four different milks. And I think the one that I've tried at the moment, I think it might be soy milk. I keep getting distracted. Um, I'm supposed to be unboxing those dishes. I just wanted to really quickly show you guys the sticker that I've... Um, got made. This is a die cut sticker of my strawberry milk design. The same manufacturer I've got the um, acrylic pins from um, is the same place I've got these um, stickers from and I've also got some enamel pins as well um, but the acrylic pins and the die cut stickers are gonna arrive a lot sooner than the enamel pin. <laughs> just finished um, unboxing all of the dishes. I completely forgot that I had ordered this adorable um, blue one. It's so cute. Um, I ordered this for Bluebell's um, blue theme that I'm going to be doing. Here's all of the dishes. I just need to go ahead and put them in the drawer. Um, and these are one of my favourite dishes. They're just so cute and adorable. <laughs> guys my new thumb grips so I got these a little while ago um, and I popped them on my switch I think at the start of the year I had um, paw print ones on before I recently got these um, tips for my Apple Pencil so this is for when I'm drawing I think it might make it a little bit easier because I'm still pretty new to digital drawing so it just pops on like this um, and then it just feels a bit more comfortable uh, when you're using it on the iPad. So when I do another drawing, whenever that will be, hopefully over the weekend, um, I'll test this out and see if it makes it a little bit um, easier. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling now and I'll probably film a couple of clips tomorrow. I think I'm gonna be quite busy tomorrow and Thursday just packing orders so I probably won't really film too much um, but I'll try and film a few clips here and there and yeah, I'll catch up with you guys very soon.
It's a little after 11 o'clock and I'm going to be heading off to the post office today with my sister so she should be here in a little bit she's just got um someone round um fixing her cooker at the moment so once that's done she's gonna pick me up as you would have seen this morning I've just been packing a bunch of last minute orders I had quite a few coming through um as I was packaging the ones from like yesterday afternoon and yesterday you also would have seen me packing orders and I was supposed to go post office yesterday um but I had to stay home and I'm going to the post office instead today so i just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's purchased off my etsy store it means a lot so 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 many orders um to send off again this week probably more than the 70 orders i had last week which is insane so a big thank you to everyone who's been supporting my shop it really does mean a lot and i wasn't expecting to be getting this many orders every week i was expecting maybe 10 to 20 max so to have like 70 80 orders is insane so here's the lovely pile of orders and I just need to add this to the three other bags I have sitting in the hallway at the moment and I've also got something super 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 exciting to show you guys my acrylic um, pins and my die cut stickers have arrived and I'm really excited but I'm really nervous at the same time because I'm just hoping that they turned out all right because this is the first time I've um, ever gotten my design made into stickers or um, acrylic pins so I'm a little bit nervous about that. 
So I haven't had a look yet, but I've went ahead and opened up the box. So I got these from a company called Sticker Mule. They're actually based in America. So I ordered these maybe two weeks ago. Quicker turnover if you get acrylic pins made compared to enamel pins. They can take um, a month or a bit more. Um, whereas acrylic pins is a lot faster to get them produced. But if you live in America, you can get these within a few days. But um, I live in the UK, so shipping took like a week or so. And this isn't sponsored or anything. But in the description, I'll have a link where you can get $10 off your order. Um, I think that's equivalent to about eight British pounds so that you guys can get money off and then I'll also get money off. So as I said, it's not sponsored or anything. It's just something that I thought would be quite useful for any of you guys who want to get um, something similar made. Um, and it also helps me out a little bit as well. So I think we'll start off with the stickers first. I feel like I'm more nervous about the pins than I am the um, stickers. So with the stickers, I got my milkshake design with the black outline, if I'm correct. And with the pins, I actually got them with the grey outline. I'm hoping that the size and then everything is all correct. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, so we've also got these. This is a coaster. Um, and then we've got this little sticker. So this is their branded stuff. But these are adorable oh my god <laughs> they turn out really cute wow this is so weird to like see my design as a sticker so i will be adding this to my um etsy store and they're a really nice size as well oh my god this is so exciting <laughs> so there's the stickers i'm not sure how much i'm going to be selling them for just yet right now for the acrylic pins okay fingers crossed these look good Oh my gosh, they're so cute and dinky. Oh my god, I love them. Okay, we've got um, the same kind of coaster again. And um, we've got this sticker with this one. And we've also got this sticker as well. But I won't be using these. So it's a bit of a waste that they always put these in their um, packages. Because not everyone's going to use them. But oh my god, the pins. <gasps> this is so cute. Okay, let's go ahead and um, open them up. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm going to have to sort through these um, as well um, to see which ones are good quality and which ones are not as good quality. But um, with these acrylic pins, you have to peel the um, thing off the front. It's got like a little plastic protective thing. So I'm going to try and do that now. So this one is a little bit um, damaged, as you can see, like at the top there there's like a little bit of um the acrylic dust chipped away um so the ones that have things wrong with them i will be selling them at a cheaper price then at the back this is what it looks like and then we just got the little i forgot what it's called the little bit um the rubber the the rubber back which is just black i think i don't think you can pick the colors of these um but oh my gosh this is so cute this makes me really excited for my enamel pins now um but i can see quite a few of these are um are a little bit damaged like chipped oops so um so that's a bit annoying like this one is quite chipped as well um so i think i got 50 and all the ones i'm pulling out now are quite dented so i think what i might have to do is just contact the company and let them know that a lot of them um are damaged but some of them might be okay but so far all of these that i've picked out they're like chipped and stuff this one looks like it might be okay but i just can't believe i've got little pins i really want to wear one of these today and um and when my sister picks me up i'll probably give one to my um sister to give to my niece these are absolutely adorable so i'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff together because my sister's gonna be here in a minute and i've just popped on my acrylic pin and it looks so 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 cute So I've just quickly sorted them into piles. So this really tiny pile over here are A grade. Um, this huge pile here um, are B grade. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they're quite badly chipped. Um, some of them around the edges. Um, some of them are not majorly like noticeable. Some of the little um dents and stuff are really not that noticeable. And then over here we have ones that are quite badly um damaged. So there's either a bit of the coating at the back missing, like this one, or they're just really badly dented, as you can see in the bottom corner. Ignore my nails, I really need to paint them. Um but yeah. And these are the two that I'm going to be 
keeping for myself. So I thought I would show you guys my original drawing. So here's my <laughs> original piece and this is what it looks like as a sticker and here's what it looks like as a pin this one I haven't peeled the um plastic off it just yet these are quite hard it's quite hard to get the plastic off so it's going to take me a little while to do that here's pretty much the mock-up design which I use to send to my enamel pin um to my manufacturer well the one that I sent to my enamel pin manufacturer has the pantone colors and all of that kind of stuff um but this is just the design so as you can see it's pretty much true to the design on the stickers um but actually the one I sent to my manufacturer it has um the gray outline because it's going to have um silver metal so I still need to make um, backing cards. Um, I think I might do that uh, next week. I'm gonna make a start on creating some backing cards so I can um, start selling the pins and the stickers. And then once my enamel pins arrive, I might get some different backing cards for them. Um, if not, I'll have backing cards ready for when they arrive. So yeah, I'm really, really, really happy with how the pins turn out. But yeah, so my sister's here now. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because I feel like it's really, really, really long. And I'm just gonna be going to the post office and coming back home. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below so I know that you guys enjoy these kind of videos. And I'll see you in my next one. So bye for now, guys. <laughs>